What up people? Thanks a lot for visiting my channel. Today's date is December 24, 2017. We're reporting to you today on the FBI statistics that were released for 2016 of crime in the United States of America. This chart is based on arrests by race and ethnicity again for the year 2016. We're going to cover these numbers because after all, the white supremacists, the white nationalists, the white racists, and others have used these numbers against black people. And it's time that we set the record straight. So without further ado, let's get to some of the numbers. So overall, we have a total number of arrests at 8.42 million. And out of that 8.42 million, 5.85 million arrests are those of white people. The next one we, or actually that's 5.85 million at 69.6%. .6%. Let me also reference the percentage there. The next we have is black or African American. We have that out of 8.42 million blacks or African American stand at 2.26 million or 26.9 million. Next we have is the American Indian or Alaska Native at 171,185 or 2.0%. Next we have Asians at 103,244 at 1.2%. And then we have the Native Hawaiian or other Pacific Islander at 25,610 at 0.3%. Now, I'd like to just highlight the fact that this report highlights and it reveals that white people commit the most crimes in America, period. Based on the raw numbers, there is no turning this around or twisting it any other way. White people lead in the amount of arrests in America. Based on the FBI 2016 statistics. Now what's disturbing, highly disturbing about these numbers and reality of a racist system a system that is systematic that bends towards one and again and targets another it's revealing in the numbers and the fact that you have 5.85 million whites who are arrested in 2016 versus 2.26 million blacks or african american yet White people are not the majority of those locked up in the jails and prisons across America. This disturbing fact highlights the racism that black people have always spoken about. It highlights the racist systematic system that is so unjust that it has nothing to do with justice. We highlight these truths to show a type of people that say they are human we highlight these truths to show you that you are wrong with your propaganda in making black people look to be the criminals in America when the numbers don't lie the numbers do not lie and if you're going to be mad at anyone, well, it's the FBI 2016 statistics that reveal the truth. And so with that, I'm going to end this video off because, actually, no, before I do end this video off, let's go over the top three um, categories of crime so we can actually see some of the raw numbers. Let's cover that for a second. Let's look back at this chart. As you'll see under murder 
and non-negligent manslaughter, you have a total of 9,374. And out of that, white people committed 4,192. Whereas black or African American committed slightly more at 4,935,000. Whereas American Indian and Native Alaskans, 108. Asians at 109. Native Hawaiian or Pacific Islanders at 30. So that is pretty significant there. Whereas rape is at 18,606. And out of that, you have 12,571 who are white that were arrested for rape versus black or African Americans at a lower percent a uh, lower number of five thousand four hundred and twelve. That's even more than half uh less black people who have committed rape. Whereas you hear from these white people, these white supremacists and these white racists, they'll claim that black people commit more rapes where the numbers don't lie. It's showing you right there that white people, in fact, commit more rapes across America than anyone else. White males and white females. Even today, you'll see a lot of stories of white females who are um, sleeping with students across the United States in the schools. You'll see a lot of that these days. So, again, the numbers don't lie. Let's just move on to robbery. Out of robbery, you have a total of 76,267. And out of that, whites commit 33,095. And blacks and African Americans commit 41,500 plus and it goes to show that out of robbery, okay, we're talking about stealing material things that people want. Not something so drastic as, well, like rape, per se, where you're just totally violating another human being. And white males and white females seem to lead that by far. And then when you have murders, even, you got a lot of, in the black community, unfortunately, we have a lot of self-hate. And so we can look at another uh, black person and instead of calling them brother or sister, we call them niggers and niggas. And so we end up killing them. And so there is a, a reflection of how we refer to one another that makes a big difference in how we treat, respect, and love one another. And so um, I do kind of understand why our numbers of, of murders are up, especially when mysteriously we end up finding boxes of guns in our alleyways where someone just left them conveniently, left them in our neighborhoods for us to find and use on each other. You know, things like that, shenanigans like that. And we're so stupid and gullible, we go for stuff like that. But anyways, I'm going to end this video off because... I just wanted to bring this up because, well, another YouTuber, I heard her video speaking on this issue, and I really appreciate the love and the insights that I get and that I learn from other YouTubers out there. I really appreciate all the insights that I get from people out there, and I'm just uh, appreciative of people who put out good information for all of all of us to learn from because I certainly don't know everything I never proclaim that I know everything because I know I don't I'm constantly learning and I want to learn and so with that said I appreciate just the information that people are putting out there in our community so with that I'm gonna end this video off thanks a lot for watching don't forget to subscribe or not we'll see you in the next video peace out